All right, guilty is the verdict. Live from Austin, Texas, News Nation's Alex Capriello joins us in the Caitlin Armstrong uh, murder trial. And just so you know, for, for your purposes, um, Alex, we announced the verdict a moment ago, but the feed we were getting was just a little bit late to the courtroom in terms of the actual announcement. So as we have throughout the trial, we'll rely on you to be our eyes and ears. Take us through the day and take us through what we just heard. Yeah, we heard the closing arguments earlier this morning, but when it came to deliberations, it did not take long, just a little over two hours. The jury finding Caitlin Armstrong, the defendant, guilty of murdering Mariah Mo Wilson, a first-degree murder on May 11th, 2022. It was a very powerful moment inside that courtroom when that verdict came down. You could hear a sigh of relief from the friends and the family of Mo Wilson in those first two rows behind the prosecution. This was the justice that they were always hoping for. And once that verdict came down and the jury was excused from the courtroom, that's when we really saw the emotion pour out. The mother, the father, the brother, and Caitlin Cash of Mo Wilson all gathering together, giving each other big hugs. And this was exactly what they had hoped for and prayed for, and it didn't take long for that jury to come to that decision. Quickly take us through, if you can, the evidence in this case and what, you know, uh, the jury was really dealing with, because you're right, it was a very, very quick decision. Yeah, we always wonder exactly how long jur jury deliberations might take. It could take days, it could take weeks, but really in this case, it came by really, really quickly, only two hours. And I believe that's because there was just a mountain of circumstantial evidence that pinned Caitlin Armstrong to this murder. We looked for two and a half weeks at DNA evidence that showed Caitlin Armstrong's fingerprints on the bicycle handlebars and seat. We looked at video surveillance that actually showed a Jeep that matches Caitlin Armstrong's Jeep at the crime scene at the time of the crime. On top of that, along moving with that Jeep was her cell phone. She had turned it off uh, in the hour before the actual murder happened, but even still, that GPS data really was irrefutable. On top of that, we heard witness testimony from several of Caitlin Armstrong's friends who expressed that she had said that she was very jealous of Mo Wilson and that she had one day wanted to kill Mo Wilson because she continued to get in the way of her relationship with Colin Strickland. All of this evidence insurmountable in the eyes of the jury. It only took two hours for them to comb through. And in the eyes and the words of the prosecution, they used their common sense here to find a guilty verdict. Caitlin Armstrong found guilty of murder. Live from Austin, Texas, that's Alex Capriello. We'll have more in a moment. We'll be right back here. Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.